First we will make the backside of our cape visible under render settings. The previews tab and uncheck remove back facing polys so you will now be able to see the backside of the mesh. The next step before working with our morph brush tool is to clone the simulation as a finished morph. To do so go to your cloak, select your cloak, go to the objects menu and click on spawn morph target. Choose a morph name, in this case simulation 1. And now set your dynamic slider to 0 and set your new simulation morph to 1. You see this the result is the same because you have simply replaced your simulation with your new morph. Now to get rid of all these crinkles we will have to use the morph tool. You will find it under this little finger and, uh, finger and hand icon. And now you can see there are a few parts where you want to work with your morph tool. But first, before you do so, you can change the color of the top and top trims to see what you are doing so you get a bit better contrast. I have chosen different colors for the hood and the top layer. And if you want you can also set the transparency to zero so you will have no further problems to see what you are working on. Because with the transparency set on in Poser you will always get some intersection. Now you will see these poke throughs on the shoulders, on the color of your hood. You can start working with the morph brush tool, mainly with the smooth option, this little ironing icon. And there you can see this is your morph brush tool highlighted as a circle of pixels with a red center and a green trim. I always choose a softer setting with uh, a softer edge to work. In this case I will start with the shoulders and the color. Smooth this out, you see already some of the poke throughs are disappearing. Now I'm going to progress to my hood so it gets a bit more even. Some of the crinkles are gone already. But there are still a few places where I will want to do some more corrections. Now we have the back view with the hood. You see I cannot get everything smoothed out in this step. I think I will have, have to resort to some further tricks. I will go to my grouping tool, this little rectangular with a dot inside. I'm going to create a few more polygon groups to isolate my top and later the hood. I've created a new group named top and now I'm adding the materials from the top and the trim of the top because I do not want to miss any parts of those of the trim. You will see what this is doing. Now I'm checking this little group box down there and I'm selecting my newly created top group. And now when I'm working with my smooth brush it has a different effect. It only influences the top, not the whole cloak. So I'm switching to my pull option here with the screen in and out option selected. That means now when I'm pulling down my mouse cursor it pulls out the mesh. When I'm pushing up it's going to depress the mesh. So by pulling down I'm bit by bit taking these parts of the top layer out of the bottom layer. We're going to repeat the 
selecting and grouping process for the hood in a minute so you can see in more detail what I was doing. So you see the blue layer is nicely separating from the underlying white which is the bottom. Now we're going to create a new group for the hood because I want to work on the hood now. Name it. Add your materials. First the hood and now your trim of the hood. That's done. Close the menu, go back to your brush, select the hood group. Opposer will automatically add your groups in the pull-down menus when you create new ones. And now you can use your pull tool with the screen in and out selection still active to pull out the mesh from uh, the bottom and the top layer. You can see it works uh, quite nicely so you will now just have to work your way around the cape and always keep in mind when your group checkbox is checked in the Morph Brush tool you will only be able to work on your selected group or nothing else. Now working with the smooth brush again Oh, looking nicely. Now I'm unchecking the group so I can work on the whole cape like this intersection between the bottom and the top layer. Uh, so this is mostly it. The method how to get rid of these uh, bigger pokes.